What is up, beautiful people of the internet? My name is Amethyst, and I'm so glad that you clicked on today's video. So you're watching Amethyst Budgets. Like I said, my name is Amethyst, and in this channel, I am a low-income cash and online stuffer and budgeter, and I basically show you guys my budget, um, the fails, the successes, all of that kind of stuff, and I'm slowly trying to get my wealth up so that I can not be approved for low-income housing again next year, so basically I want to get out of my tax bracket, and um, yeah, that's pretty much what this channel is mostly about. So with that said, today's video is going to be my August goals video and ju like July reflections type video. Um, I really enjoyed sitting down in front of the camera like this last month doing this type of video, so I figured I'd do it again if you guys don't mind. So I'm going to get into it, uh, not waste too much time. Um, there is one thing that I wanted to point, point out before getting into the video. I have a couple shoutouts for today. I'm going to do that on my laptop, so let's go to the shoutouts. So here are the shoutouts for this week. I'm actually just going to do the hashtag BCL shoutouts. This was created by Budgeting April. She basically had a vision to connect the community to get other budgeters to meet other budgeters, viewers to meet other budgeters, um, and really just have a budgeting community link a way to link us all. So I thought that was brilliant and Budgeting April, her videos are awesome. I really do enjoy her content. She has some food ideas here and she does a lot of like surprise giveaways. She's always giving. So I really, really appreciate April and what she's doing with this Budgeting Community Link. Um, for this week, we have the Firewife Savings Life. I literally just subscribed to her because I have not seen her videos before, but it looks like she's got some really cute stuff. I have a feeling I'm going to really appreciate her aesthetic. Looks like it's mostly short as well so that should be a lot of fun to check her out and then we have making money moves and I see the Canadian money um my dad is actually from Canada so I don't think you can be half a nationality so I don't think I'm quite half Canadian but um <laughs> I always like have like a little bit of a you know, whenever I see someone's Canadian or something, I feel a little bit excitement. So yeah, I'm really excited to check out her channel as well. Today I just subscribed, so we have her. We've got 40 Plus Life. Once again, I actually didn't know any of these ladies except for the Happy Meal Fairy until this week. And I look like it looks like I'm going to enjoy her aesthetic as well because she's got some pretty colors here. So very excited for her. And then we have the Happy Meal Fairy. She is just so very sweet. I say she, it could be a they, them, or he, but <laughs> sounds like she. Um, but yeah, so I really appreciate the Happy Meal Fairy. What they do is just so incredibly kind, um, basically just giving out um, Happy Meal to people, and it's just so sweet. So, 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 so sweet. So, um, go support them as well. Um, yeah, and those are the shout outs for the week. Okay, so now we are back and I'm going to first get into my August goals and then later on in the video we're going to do a August um, budget setup. So if you're interested in seeing the setup, you can check the timeline down below. So we're going to start off with um, a couple of facts, I guess, if you will. So things that I wanted to consider with this month was that I'm going to be getting four paychecks. So I get paid on a weekly basis, no bonus paycheck this month. Um, and then I, or bonus pay week because I don't really get paid in paychecks like most people because of my type of work. Um, and then there's going to be 30 days in August. So I was trying to keep that in mind. I didn't want to put too much on my plate or stress myself out. So what I ended up picking was three categories to create goals for. We have financial, personal, and work. And so we're going to go one um, for each category. The first one, starting with financials, is I want to make $350 a week. I'm sorry, let me mute my phone. Anyone who's been around my channel knows that this is like a every video occurrence where I always have to mute my phone because I forget to do it before I film. Um, so $350 a week with all of my different sources of income, I should be able to make that work. I have been struggling to make money this past couple of months. Um, there's just been a lot going on and when you don't work W-2, when you don't work a traditional job and you're in charge of your schedule and stuff, it's really easy to fall behind and stuff. So I think that's a big issue with my current situation, but I have been doing better this past month. This past week, not so much. This past week was really rough, but we're going to talk about that in a later video. So that is my first financial goal. My second or my first personal goal is to get on a better spiritual routine. So um, I've mentioned on my channel before, but I am religious and I do study the Bible and I always feel like 
whenever I am actually good on my spiritual routine, everything else kind of falls into place. Um, it's very much my belief system. I know not everyone is like that, but that is my personal belief system. And so I really wanted to get into a better spiritual routine, studying the Bible more often, reading the Bible more often, and just remembering to pray more often and just all of that kind of stuff. So. That is my first personal goal. Like I said, whenever my spiritual routine is up, I find that everything else kind of just falls into place. So yeah, that's, that's probably like the number one goal for the entire month, if there had to be just one. So then we have a work uh, goal, and the first work goal is to just stick to my schedule. I did pretty good on that the month of June, so when I was trying to reflect on like how everything was going, I noticed that I actually stuck to my schedule a lot better, and the reason being, so I guess I can talk about that, Planning has never been a strong suit of mine. I love planning, but I usually will just plan, 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 and then never stick to the schedule. So what I think helped this time was I was using three planners. So I was using my passion planner, I was using the Google Calendar planner, and then I also had a desktop planner that I was just like peeking at every once in a while. And I think that having the Google Calendar on my phone has actually really helped. I've never really enjoyed the interface and I still don't enjoy the interface. However, having the little notification pop up that's like in five minutes you have a new schedule change or you have a new task change. That was extremely helpful and so I think that was a big part in sticking to my schedule this past month and so that's definitely something that I plan on keeping up. I'm sorry, my bangs have been like, I cut my bangs last what, last month and I forgot how annoying the upkeep is. I love them but like I haven't washed my hair in a few days <laughs> and so my bangs are the first curls to fall so unfortunately they look a little wonky right now. So the second financial goal that I have was to track everything. I wanted to do that more in July, but I just did not stick to that. So that is definitely going to be something I really want to implement, kind of like at the end of each day, take a minute to reflect on what did I spend my money on, what kinds of money did I spend for my business, that is a big thing too. In the month of August, I'm going to have to spend some time to really go through and list out every single expense for my business because I was supposed to be keeping up with that. I even bought like a little spreadsheet in the beginning of the year to keep up with it and I have not. So I have eight months worth of expenses to catch up on. If you are self-employed or if you have gig work or side work, just please do yourself a favor. Make sure to track everything, everything, um, and like immediately. So that is going to be a goal to track everything from spending to earnings. I want to track my earnings a lot better and I want to put it into a spreadsheet. Um, that way I can see like an automated like a pie chart or something on all of that. My second personal goal is to reach out to more friends. I'm really bad about talking to my friends. I'm one of those people, I'm always, always thinking about you. I probably think of all of my friends, like even ones that I haven't talked to in months on a daily basis, but I just don't reach out and text or call or any of that stuff. So the, in August, I really want to do better about that. Um, all of my friends know that. They know that I care very deeply for them and that I'm always thinking and praying for them, but that I'm just not good at communication and I'm not... I don't have a lot of energy to do that, but I really want to, in the month of August I was trying to reflect like, who do I want to be? Like I know that this is a budgeting channel so I won't get too deep on it, but like really like what do I want people to view me as? And although in my head I'm a very like cares deeply about my friends, constantly thinking about people, constantly doing things for others. Um, I'm not sure that that really comes across because of just the way it's all in my head, you know? So really I want to reach out to my friends more often and really think about like how I want to live the rest of my life and how I'm living my personal life right now is definitely not what I want in the long-term future. So I'm basically trying to make small steps to be the type of person that I want to be in the future, which is being more outgoing and hanging out with friends more often and reaching out and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. So then goal number two for work is to stop when I'm told. So this is something I did last month was I stuck to my schedule pretty well, but I also had a hard time stopping. When work wasn't scheduled and it was downtime, I would start working. So for this month, I really want to stop working when I tell myself to stop working. Um, I know I have a lot of workload and I really need to be better about remembering that I need to follow my personal time the same way that I follow work because 
although work is kind of what's getting me through life in a way, you know, like it's paying my bills and all that stuff, it shouldn't be my life. And at this point, it definitely has become so. So that is goal number two for work. And then goal number three for my finances is to stop using my credit cards. I want to keep them at home, including my debit card probably, and probably just keep like a cash app with a hundred bucks on it for an emergency, even though <laughs> I don't even have a hundred bucks for an emergency on my debit card. But um, I want to stop using my credit card specifically Specifically, the interest is just so high and I was trying so hard to pay it off and it feels like every time I do a chunk of money it ends up going away immediately so for the month of August I really want to have like a no spend month if I can I'm not sure if that's gonna happen but that's definitely the goal and then for personal number three is to do more self-care I'm really really bad about self-care I just don't, it's non-existent in my life, so I've been watching um, Sweet Kiki One, I think is her channel name, I will put a link to her down below, she's been doing a part of the I Am movement, which is a movement started by Free to Fly Budgeting, um, and her whole thing was on self-care and mental health and all that stuff. I think it was mental health, but she did a whole segment on self-care, and I think that is really important, and I'm trying to do that more often. I have a ton of coloring books and Sudoku, and I have tons of, like, spa products that I haven't used in forever, so I think I'm going to start taking more time to focus on me physically and mentally, and yeah. So self-care is going to be goal number three for personal. And then for goal number three for work is to stay focused. So y'all know I've talked about this many times before. I have ADHD and getting distracted is definitely a part of it. Um, it's not a, it's not like, oh, squirrel. Like it's not that type of distraction. It's very, I don't know. When people say it's like that, I just feel like not really. I don't really know how to explain it though. So I guess I shouldn't have said that, but... Um, it feels different than just a, like, quick distractions here and there. It's more like starting up projects, um, starting up cleaning my closet instead of reselling, or I say that as I'm looking at my messy closet right now. Things like that, like when I'm doing cleaning, don't get distracted organizing because that's not cleaning. Actually spend the time to clean. So stay focused on task and make sure that the tasks that I'm distracting myself with are not going to be like detrimental in the long run type thing. So those are the goals for August. I have nine of them and I tried to keep them very simple and to the point and when you're coming up with your own goals, I'm not very good at this so I'm not going to say what to do. I'm just going to tell you how my thought process is as I try to come up with goals that are going to be sustainable forever. Like I'm not just being like for the month of August I'm doing this and then never doing it again. These are goals that will hopefully change my mindset, change my attitude, change my habits, and continue moving me forward in the future and will something be something that I can stick to. So that is what I have here. Now let's get into a different view and we're going to show you guys what the August spread might look like for this month. Okay, so we are here now at the monthly spread. I have already sort of set up some things here and there. All of the red text is essentially the YouTube videos that I hope to have out. Not, Don't hold me to anything this month, but I am doing something called August Awesomeness, which is basically to just hopefully get out good content to you guys, some awesome content, if you will. Um, and I wanted to post a video every weekday. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to stick to that, but that is the goal, so we will see. I've already laid down my no spend stickers. Whenever I have a no spend, I can just select it, copy it, and drag it down to whatever day I have no spend. Hopefully that is a lot of days. So far today is the first and I have been on track for that. I did have one business spend but I'm hmm, so I'm not quite sure. I'll have to figure out if I want to count those as spend days but yeah let's get into the spread for August. So I have to decide all of my bills written down and so we're going to go in with the digital version and kind of write everything in. Paydays we'll do in pink. So um, I do have a payday on this Wednesday, and let's make this a little thicker. So my paydays are different than most people's because I don't work for a company. Um, it's essentially the day that I can guarantee everything that I'm getting paid for from that week is going to hit. So how delivery services work is every single app is going to be a Monday to Sunday work week, and so then the funds usually hit accounts any time between Monday to Thursday, Thursday being the latest, um, specifically for Grubhub. So I can 
almost always assured though that I'm going to have the money in my account by Wednesday, which is why I set Wednesday as my paydays um, for that specifically. I will say I'm trying to have it so that I can get paid also from all of my resale apps and my Etsy every single week. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to do that again this month. It was kind of a lot to kind of figure out where all the money is going and coming from. But there's that idea as well. Hopefully I can also have those payments come in. I will say on the 1st, I will get an additional paycheck through the company WTI that I work for. And I think I'm going to get one today as well. We're going to see. Um, the company did just put out a little message, so I have to go read that um, after this video. So those are the paydays. So there are one, two, three, four for the month of August, and then five, six, which hopefully I can set these ones aside for September. Um, but for right now, I'm just going to like keep in mind that they're coming. And now let's get into bills. Let's go in with this blue color. I do have some events scheduled next week at 6, um, which is what that thing right there is. So, um, yeah, let's get into this one. So Friday, rent is due. It is, we're just going to write 800. Um, it's 5 less, but I put that 5 into my... Um, laundry account so they use like an automated laundry system here or you can it's coins card or like this app I have the app and I like to just put five dollars in and so we have rent due this week and lo and behold I did not make that this week like upcoming but we're going to talk about that in my budget setup I think I'm not quite sure we'll figure it out um, rent is 800 and then what else do we have? So I don't have that many bills, to be honest with you guys. Um, I do have Samsung due on the 15th. This one is less than this, but I am going to start putting in $30 a month. I really want to get this number down. Oh, oops, excuse me, I hit the tripod. I also have my two credit cards are due on this day. And I don't remember how much those are. I have the money for them, though, but I don't remember how much they are. And then on the 19th, I have my insurance, I have dental and health, they're under one category. My car insurance, I pay every six months, so you won't see those on these monthly spreads. I do have to start saving up a little bit more aggressively for those though, because it is getting down to crunch time. I have signed up for this subscription box called Ratty Box, and it is for my pet rats. It is $30 a month, and it gives them food, not food, um, treats, toys, um, things for me as an owner that is necessary, just things like that. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it, but I'm trying it out for right now. Something to just kind of force me to um, take care, like give them like more fun things and stuff. Because sometimes I don't have the time to like run around to shops and stuff. So we have my Wi-Fi is also due on that day. My home security is $10 a month. My Spotify is 11 a month. And my electric, I'm not sure quite yet what it's going to be. I'm going to budget out 80. And then down over here, I do sign up for the Gas Buddy subscription service. So I get extra cash back. I did the math and it is worth it. I saved a pretty decent bit of money even after the um, subscription. And I did recently upgrade from the $8 one to the $10 one just because I plan on driving more often. Um, uh, so yeah, it's worth it for me. If you are spending more than $40 a week on gas, then it is absolutely worth it. Um, so if you want to check out the referral link down below, then you can get that. List Perfectly is a Poshmark, well, it's a resale thing. Um, and it is $50 a month. It's kind of extreme, but it's totally worth it. And I do plan on adding in a, another resale subscription this month because resale has been doing a little bit better and like I said in previous videos that is where I want most of my money to be coming from and then three things this is giving me a headache so I'm gonna blow it out oh my gosh yeah that is a major headache right there um <laughs> so I have a Paramore concert that is coming up and I really really want to go I have not bought the tickets yet but I'm writing it down here so that I can remember to save up for it for the week I also need to figure out for the week for the month I need to figure out when my medication is going to be renewed I get it's like a monthly prescription because it's a narcotic, technically, for my ADHD. And so they have to refill it every single month. So I have to figure out what day that refill is going to be. And then I also want to save up more money for my rats to get them some fancy food and 
all that stuff. So that's what I wrote down right here. So with that in mind, what I also am going to do is start setting up my week spreads. So I'm going to go in with a little highlighter here and highlight everything that's going to be due within that paycheck. Um, and I think I said paychecks were going to be pink. So I'm going to zoom up here and we're going to do August. And this is the paycheck from... This one is going to be the 1st to the 7th. So although I get paid on Wednesdays, what I'm going to start doing is making my paycheck um, t timeline from Monday to Sunday as well. Um, so that is 1 to 7. I'm trying it out this month. I don't usually do that, so we'll see if I end up liking it. So that means that this one is going to be 8 to 14. Okay, and then this last one here, I'm not writing if it's August or September because I'm hoping that the funds from this week um, paycheck will be able to go towards September, but I'm not quite sure if that's going to happen yet. Um, so let's just go back here. So for the first week, my rent is the only bill due. The second week, I'm not going to have anything due per se, so we're going to skip that one. Oh, um, rent and then these two right here. And then the 15th to the 21st was when I have Samsung due, and then my health insurances. And I have to adjust this budget breakdown because that is actually more now. Um, and then I have the third week, right? Is this three? I don't even remember. This one is where the lo a lot of them come out. So my pet subscription box, my Wi-Fi will be due, my home security system will be due my subscription for Spotify, and my electric. And I believe that that is it. And then for this one, it will be my gas subscription, and then my business subscription. Yep, I think that looks like everything. So that is the paycheck breakdown, that is the setup. That's pretty much what I do every single month. Um, because I have such variable income, that's pretty much all I can do. Um, and then I kind of just play it by ear from there. I might try something else differently next month. We'll see what I end up doing, but for right now, this is what's been what I've been doing. I won't say it's been working for me because I've been struggling to pay my bills, but it's what I do. And so hopefully this month I can stick to my bills and everything a little bit better, um, track everything better. I think I'm going to track on paper instead of digital this month. I'm not sure. I'm just throwing the idea around. We'll see what I end up doing, but yeah. If you've made it to this part of the video, then please leave me a bear emoji in the comments. Um, this beautiful thing was given to me by a subscriber. Um, her name is Mary. She gave me a bunch of really amazing goodies that I have all around my office now because they are just so awesome and they bring me so much joy. Um, but this was... I hope I'm not being rude by saying this is definitely my favorite part because it is a bear, which I love bears. Winnie the Pooh is one of my favorite characters of all time. And then it also is designed to look like an amethyst stone, which is the coolest thing ever. So I love this guy with a passion. I still haven't named him. I'm not quite sure what to name him yet. Or her. She, it could be a her. Give me name ideas down below for the little bear. I might take some vinyl and like, you know around the edge. <laughs> um, speaking of vinyl, there are a few products. I'm not sure if I'm going to edit in what those products are, but if you pop up, if editing Amethyst has the time, the energy, pop up on the screen. Um, these are the products that are now in my Etsy shop. I just created a um, game savings challenge too. Actually, I will show you that. I can show you that. Let me show you. It's not on my Etsy quite yet, but I made it for a giveaway winner, and I'm going to start selling it on my Etsy. So it's like a little savings challenge game. Um, you just roll a die and move around, save money, all that kind of stuff. This one, I'm not sure. I might do another version with like higher denominations, because this one's kind of low income, but it also depends on how you play. So that's what we have here. I just wanted to pop that in there because I'm super proud of it. Um, anyways, <laughs> I'm going to stop talking because my voice is so dry. <laughs> so I really appreciate you guys so very much. Um, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you think of it. Give me any kind of constructive criticism if you have any. Um, anything that you feel is missing from these types of videos or that you don't think is important. Also let me know. You guys kind of run the show here. Although it is my channel, um, you guys are the ones supporting me and I want to make sure that I'm catering to you guys as well as my own needs. So yeah. I will see you guys tomorrow and I'm now realizing that this is actually completely wrong. <laughs> I actually completely redid my YouTube um, plan. So whatever you see here, don't just disregard it. Those are not the videos that are coming out on those days. But tomorrow, I should see you guys with a budget with me or like a redo of my binders. So yeah, I will see you guys then. Have a good one. Bye!